Morning guys, it's Friday. Uh, oh, Friday, February 13th. Bum, bum, bum. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a, a full day of eating video because people keep asking for it. And since I'm finally dieting again, uh, we can do that. So I've got a, a one cup of milk, which I weigh out on my scale here. See? Okay, all right, okay. Wife calling me out. So she does it for me every morning because she's awesome. So uh, yeah, so I weigh 240 grams of milk. And um, I use this uh, Cytosport 100% whey from Costco because it's like six pounds for $48, something like that. Uh, macros are pretty good on it. It's like two and a half fat, three carbs, 27 protein, and then I use fat-free milk. So I think that's like um, 12 and nine. Let me see if I got that right. Uh, 13 and nine, so yeah, pretty close. And um, usually for breakfast, I have a Quest bar. I really like banana nut muffin. I think they've honestly, I think they've changed the uh, the way they make this because it's so much softer now. Uh, but I always love this flavor because it's got really low fat, five grams of fat. So I'm a little congested. And then um, I usually grab one or two of these uh, Greek 0% light and fit yogurts. Um, the macros are the same in all of them. So I just say, Thomas, grab any random two and just throw them in. They're only like maybe one carb difference. Uh, a little bit more flexible on this prep than uh, than before, uh, just because you know I feel like I can be. Plus, we're super early. Uh, then I usually take like a Pepsi Max to work with me and eat that during lunch. So uh, yeah, I'll show you what I eat during lunch too. Uh, so I'll see you in a few hours, and I'll post the macros for this breakfast up on the screen. Generally, uh, I drink my protein shake at home, and then I eat all that other stuff. Uh, just take it in a bag and eat it at work. This is my new work. It's 8:55. About to walk in. Uh, it's Test World here in Rockland. So last time I competed, uh, 2013, I was in Fremont at uh, Techmaster. So new job, new location. Uh, Rockland is like outside of Sacramento if you're not familiar with it. It's still Northern California, but um, not in the Bay Area, about two hours northeast. So uh, all right, the day is going to begin. I'll uh, actually like to show you guys like actually consuming the stuff. So I'll show you that in a minute. It's uh, 10 o'clock, finished getting into all my emails. Did I hate when there's like a bunch of water separated on your yogurt? Usually I dump it out. I don't know why, because this looks nasty. Um, but since I'm in my office, I'm not gonna dump it out, I'm just gonna eat it. Get closer here. Or maybe I should get farther away. Maybe I should learn how to use a camera. Normally I snack all throughout the day, um, up until about noon when I have lunch, and then I usually don't eat anything until dinner. Current macros right now are, um, we actually started out pretty aggressive because my stage weight last time was so much lower. I'm 165 this morning. Stage weight last time was under 140, like 138 at the Mayhem, and um, I started prep. In, in the mid 160s, uh, in early January I was 171. So I've been I've been that weight for a while, and I'm 165 now. The second week of prep, so we decided to start a little aggressive. Macros are 50 fat, uh, 250 carbs, and 180 protein. With a refeed day of 50 fat, 400 carbs, 180 protein, and I'm on three days of cardio, uh, 400 calories a session. Got a five one bar. Uh, I'll eat this after the quest bar. Uh, I used to microwave these, but since they changed, I'm, I'm telling you, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but they they changed it up for sure. It's much softer now. It's like I don't even bother to microwave it. It's so good. Banana nut still one of my favorite flavors. Face is getting a lot leaner. It's weird, man, because my, my legs are so much leaner than um, 2013. I feel like uh, probably by mid 150s, I'm gonna look significantly better. I feel like I'm kind of in a in between stage right now. I think I might not even have to get down to 140, but 
who knows? We'll see. If I do get down to 140, I think I'm going to be absolutely diced. I think legs will be in, glutes will be in. I don't know. I'm getting excited. I'm so starving. It's uh, 2 o'clock. I still haven't eaten lunch yet because I had a meeting and uh, I just didn't have time. So got some peas. I'm about to throw in the, throw in the microwave right now for like five minutes. And, uh, and some chicken, which I'll heat up after the peas. And also got a diet Mountain Dew and some more Greek yogurt. So that's it. I'll show you what it looks like. Super hot. All right, time to combine this up. Chicken a little bit. It's uh, 7.85 ounces. I weigh it all raw, the chicken. Um, and then my wife, well, my wife does everything to be honest. So she cooks it usually like on Sunday. Cooks uh, three or four chicken breasts. She weighs them all raw, and then separates them for me. Dude, for real, she's the best. So uh, yeah, so I got some chicken and some peas, and. Uh, um, do ate the yogurt already. I was, I was so hungry, and um, I got like only 15 fat for the day, so I have like 35 fat left, uh, 30 protein left, and like 130 carbs. So can I have something pretty good for dinner? I'm not sure what yet. I was gonna have a hamburger, but then I'll still have tons of uh, leftover macros. Well, isn't that nice? She does for me. All right, cool. All right, guys, I'm about to go to the gym. It's uh, 5:30 p.m. Uh, right, 5.30? 5.45. Oh, 5.45. And, um, yeah, I'm about to go to the gym. No, no one can see you, Jane. No, I have a front-facing camera. Okay, good. I'm just making sure you don't have to say it out loud. It's my point. Alright, guys, 5.45 p.m. About to go to the gym. And, uh, my wife is cooking me this, um, 96.4 4 ounce beef patty. And she's putting some tin foil. And it'll be ready when I get back. I have to do uh, a pool day with my partner Shane. Normally go in the morning. I don't. I, I might have said this this morning. I don't remember. And I also have to do cardio, 400 calories. So I'll probably be gone about two hours. And my phone is not very charged, so that kind of upsets hey guys, me. Guys, just got back from the gym. Uh, here's that burger. I um, mean, you can't really see it. That my wife cooked with some uh, reduced fat Swiss cheese on it. Where the paper towels at? plate is like, it was in tin foil, so it's like all wet, so I don't want to get my bun wet. And I got some just regular old hamburger buns. I'm going to grab one. I'm not going to bother weighing it because uh, it's not that serious yet. I think I have pickles too. Here are some pickles. So again, I'm not going to bother counting the lettuce. It's just... It's like literally like one carp. Just, it would be a waste. Oh, I don't know where those paper towels are. Driving me crazy. All right, put a little bit of ketchup, which again, you could put this on the scale and weigh the ketchup, but haven't started doing that yet. This is like probably less than one serving, but I'm just gonna say it's one serving. And then I got my burger here. This is a 96.4 ground beef from uh, Trader Joe's. Super lean, but um, as long as you don't cook it too long, it still tastes pretty good and juicy. Like the 99 turkey, shh, don't don't eat that. It's like literally, it tastes like cardboard. Unfortunately. I made a mistake of uh, like pretty much maxing out my protein. This reduced fat cheese is like two and a half fat, seven protein. The pad is like 22 protein and four fat. The bun is only like one gram of fat. So I'm literally, literally at like 21 grams of fat and I have 50 for the day. So I have like 30 left and I'm at like 181 protein and I'm supposed to have 180 plus or minus 5 grams. So 
I need to find something that's like 30 grams of fat, and I still I still have like almost 100 grams of carbs. Man, so I'm I'm not really sure this happened, but it's like super difficult to uh, based on the stuff I have in my house to eat these macros. So uh, I, I weighed out this orange, which only it only ends up being like 11 grams of carbs. It's a navel orange. Um, so I eat this. And then I'm gonna have these two little teeny tiny things of cookies, which are like. Six, nineteen, and one each. But then I still have uh, like eleven grams of fat left. Um, oh no, wait, that's only if I include. Two of these mochi balls. Have you guys ever had these? I get them at Trader Joe's. I like the green tea ones a lot, um, but the strawberry ones are probably my second favorite. The macros are really good on these too. Which is a problem because I, I like, I don't know. It's already eight o'clock. I'm just ready to be done. Three, nineteen, and two. So I'm, I was gonna have two, but I guess I'm gonna have three of these. But, but the trick for these is you have to leave them out for a little bit so that they uh, they get like softer, and then they're just so delicious. It's basically if you look at the ingredients, it's basically just ice cream inside of little rice um, chewy. I haven't even had these before. I think they're for my daughter and my son's lunch. Oh no, this is the wrong one actually. I wanted these because they have seven grams of fat. So I'll go ahead and fix that. That, that actually gets me closer to, to 50. Gosh, I just uh, ate too lean today. So yeah, let me have one of these. It just looks like a regular cookie with uh, little specks of chocolate. I mean, look at the size of this thing, it's so small. So don't be like, oh, look at Chris on his full day of eating video. All he, all he ate was junk food. Cause <laughs> that, that was not my intent. But uh, my wife is with the kids at John's Incredible on a play date. And um, here I am trying to fit my macros. I'm also gonna take my vitamins and supplements. So I take fish oil, so I'm probably gonna take three of these because that'll get me within my plus or minus five of 50 range. Uh, every one of these is one gram of fat, so that's the way I count it. And then regular one a day multivitamin, which um, yeah, I wasn't taking for a while just because I was being lazy, but I have no reason not to take it like every day now. And then some uh, chondroitin glucosamine for joints. See, my wrist has really been bothering me lately. Um, I think I probably have carpal tunnel but I don't really have time to, to mess with it right now. So uh, I've been wearing like this brace at work. It's like just a soft neoprene thing for my wrist. And uh, just try to use it less, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully it'll go away. I might take a Epsom salt bath too. That kind of helps relieve inflammation. Oh, and then last but not least, uh, some creatine. And I messed up, cause, like I always buy the plain unflavored creatine, but I made the mistake of getting this stupid fruit punch flavor, which, I mean, it's fine. I just drink it at the end of the day, but you can't really like mix it with other things because it, it really changes the flavor. It's like strong fruit punch. I like the the, the plain on flavors. I'll just put it in my mouth, swish some water, drink it back and be done. But uh, but yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat these little cookies. Oh, let me finish my orange. Eat these mochi balls. Seriously, if you've never had these before, you should try them. They're so good. You can see they got like uh, flour all over them. I don't know. I guess they, they use that when they make it to keep it from sticking to stuff because it's like a sticky, like made out of rice covering. And then inside is uh, ice cream. All right, that's it, man. That's the end of the video. Cue the outro.